10 Amazing Adaptations of Desert Animals Deserts are among the least habitable places on Earth. Aside from the lack of water resources, the temperature in the desert can be very hot. Some may even have very cold winters and can reach incredibly frigid temperatures or are cold year-round. That said, humans and the majority of animal species avoid living in this environment. There are several reasons why deserts can be challenging habitats. Deserts can experience extremely high temperatures during the day and very low temperatures at night, making it difficult for organisms to regulate their body temperature. Deserts are characterized by very little rainfall, making water a scarce resource. This lack of water can make it difficult for organisms to survive, especially those that require a lot of water to live. Deserts are not known for their abundance of food sources, which can make it difficult for animals to find enough food to survive. However, we shouldn't forget that our nature is amazing. There are actually animals who can, surprisingly, adapt and survive in these conditions in their own ways. Some have large ears that help in releasing heat. Others have thick coats to protect their skin from sunburn. And there are even nocturnal animals to help them prevent the heat of the day. In this video, we'll talk about the 10 amazing adaptations of desert animals. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. African Bullfrog It is uncommon to see a frog living in a desert, and even in mountains with a height of 4,000 feet. However, one frog species can adapt to such conditions, and that is the African Bullfrog. The second largest frog in the African continent, African bullfrogs have their own strategy to protect themselves from the heat, and that is by burying underground until the temperature cools off. When the climate is hot and dry, African bullfrogs will burrow themselves into the ground and lay dormant. During this period, they shed their skin to form a cocoon that helps retain their body's moisture and take up the water stored in their bladder. They will stay like this for a long time, even longer than a year, when they lose up to 38% of their total body weight. They will return to the surface to forage and breed when it starts raining. African bullfrogs are not picky eaters, and will eat anything that can fit in their mouth, including birds, rodents, and even other frogs. Number 2. Kenyan Sand Boa the Kenyan sand boa is one of the smallest species of boa on Earth. Most of their lives are spent burrowing themselves under the sand or even under a rock. When the hottest time of the day ends, it is time for them to emerge and forage. There are two ways for the Kenyan sand boas to hunt their prey. First, they bury themselves under the sand while seizing their prey, who is oblivious to their presence. The other method is by dragging smaller prey under the sand until they get suffocated by the fine grains before being eaten. These animals can survive beyond a year without food. Number 3. Sand Cat Sand cats are the only feline that inhabits sandy deserts. They are found in northern Africa and central and southwest Asia. Sand cats are undeniably small and cute but they do have big ears that are set low, which helps protect them from wind-blown sand. It also helps them look for prey that is hiding under the ground. These animals have thickly furred paws that protect them from the extreme temperatures of the sand. Because of this, sand cats are able to withstand temperatures between negative 5 degrees to 52 degrees Celsius. To further keep themselves comfortable from extreme temperatures, Sand cats seek shelter in burrows abandoned by other animals, such as foxes and rodents. They adjust the size of the burrow as needed. During winter, sand cats are active during the day. Meanwhile, they are nocturnal during summer. Number 4. Brewer's Sparrow To explain how brewer's sparrows survive in the desert, we'll have a little bit of a recap of basic chemistry. These birds of North America do not have the luxury to obtain enough supply of water in the desert. They feed mostly on seeds, 
which have a very low water content, but have carbohydrates. When the carbohydrate is broken down, it reduces to carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. When oxygen and hydrogen are separated from carbon and reunited, dihydrogen monoxide, more water, is produced. This metabolic water is not enough for the brewer sparrows to survive, but their capability to obtain such a large amount of metabolic water in drought condition is indeed commendable. These birds' higher metabolic activity enables them to produce more metabolic water than bigger animals, partially offsetting their vulnerability to lack of water in dry conditions. Number 5. Sandfish Despite its name, sandfish is not actually a fish, but a lizard. Native to desert areas of North Africa and Southwest Asia, this species of skink is designed to adapt to desert environments. But why are they named such? Sandfish are named because they are capable of swimming through desert sands. This protects them from the harsh sunlight because their bodies are in the sand and not on top of it. Sandfish move in the fine grains of the sand similar to a swimmer's crawl stroke. Sandfish have smooth, sparkling, and dry skin with scales. It is somewhat similar to those of fish, except that it is not slimy and wet. Their tough skin protects them from the highly abrasive desert sands. Their ear openings and eyelids are covered with scales to protect them from the onslaught of grains. Number 6. Greater Roadrunner this may not be the most amazing adaptation you'll ever hear, but it would surely expand your knowledge of how animals adapt in the desert. Greater roadrunners survive in the harsh desert climate through waste product-based survival, which means that they drink their urine and reabsorb their fecal waste. After eating, the roadrunner's digestive system retrieves water from the bird's excrement in the excretory canals. But before the elimination, the water is withdrawn first through this unpleasant physiological process. Only then the excrements are expelled. There are other ways greater roadrunners adapt in the desert. One is to look for prey that can provide them with water through tissue and blood after being eaten. The other one is to emit excess salt from the glands located above the bird's eyes. Number 7. Desert Tortoise Desert tortoises are endemic to the deserts of the southwestern United States. These shelled reptiles have a secret to their survival in the desert, and it can be found beneath their hard, dry shells, their extraordinary water storage capacity. Desert tortoises have an oversized bladder that allows them to hold extra water. In fact, these animals can carry more than 40% of their weight in urea nitrogen-based waste, uric acid, and water. When the weather condition is wet, these animals expel waste and drink more water to store in their bladder. When they get scared and frightened, desert tortoises may release the extra water they keep due to fear-based urination. Thanks to their broad rear legs and flatter front feet, desert tortoises can move more easily in the sand. Number 8. Fennec Fox Fennec foxes are in the deserts of North Africa. These animals are known for their extremely large ears that can be as big as one quarter of their total body length. Their enormous ears are not simply for identification. Instead, it helps them cool down by expelling heat from the blood that circulates through them. Fennec foxes also have thick warm coats that keep them warm on cold nights. Their paws are also covered with fur to protect their feet from the hot sand. Fennec foxes are nocturnal omnivores who eat almost anything they find, including eggs, insects, and plants. Like other desert animals, these foxes can survive without a source of freestanding water, all thanks to their kidneys, which are adapted to minimize the loss of water. Number 9. Sonoran Pronghorn Sonoran pronghorn, also known as the desert ghost, is native to the Sonoran Desert of the United States and Mexico. They were nicknamed such because they are the fastest land mammals in North America. 
This species of pronghorn are especially adapted to live in the harsh dry condition of the desert, arroyos, and grassland steppe. These animals have teeth that are specially designed to manage abrasive foods. They also have a four-part stomach that enables them to extract as many nutrients as possible from what they eat. For this reason, Sonoran pronghorns eat plants and food resources that other animals won't consume, such as dry grasses and cacti. Although they can live in the desert, Sonoran pronghorns are having difficulty surviving in frequent and prolonged droughts caused by climate change. Currently, there are only 160 of this species in the United States. Number 10. Pallid Bat Pallid bats are found in western North America and in Cuba. Unlike other bat species, these animals prefer the dry habitats of the desert. In fact, they are even spotted in Death Valley. What makes them unique from other bats is that they are able to regulate their body temperature. Another behavior that makes them unique is that they catch prey on the ground. Unlike other insectivorous bats that catch their prey mid-air, pallid bats swoop down on their prey, capture them, and bring them to a safe area to eat. Although they can obtain all the water they need from their prey, pallid bats still need a water source in their location to help them survive. And there you have it, the 10 amazing adaptations of desert animals. Which among the animals that we talked about amazed you the most with their adaptation in the desert? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. This has been Wild Facts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.